And like the promises, you can comment them out and see the progress of your pipe if you want to. And interestingly enough, we can reuse the same tab function to just throw it in there that we were using up here for this guy to see what's going on in our pipe and get a little more transparency. And if you need something a little bit more thorough, we can take any value you want, like A, and keep in mind that this is supposed to be pound or underscore. They're still arguing about what the symbol is going to actually end up being, since I believe this is now for private class variables. For now, I'm just going to put, uh, and we'll say log, uh, and then the actual value. So you can log just like you would up there too. So if you're doing the minimal version of it, if you configure it over here, you'll notice that in my... I'm doing the proposal of minimal. If you're doing smart, they probably want you to do the pound or whatever the symbol is at the time of the actual install. Just like Compose, the downside to this is the fact that the error handling is on you. So if one of these guys actually fails, you need to make sure that they can take in. So you have the same problems with synchronous parsing that you do with this. This is why a lot of functional programming does a lot of chaining and advanced things to deal with errors and flow through. But I would argue this is significantly easier to read than any of the others. It doesn't require functions you have to write yourself, is not asynchronous, and doesn't have this nested insanity. You can literally just keep growing down. I like it a lot.